to Sunning Holford again. Um, come up for a bit of loneliness walking on my own. Um, done a vlog for a while, so a we'll crack on. Uh, aims of today, dear. Um, see if we can see any. It is raining. As I've learned in the last couple of weeks, you normally go to ground when it's raining. But we'll see. The weather should pass. Um, all, all the all the forecasts that it should it should clear over. Uh, bit of an extended walk today. No kids, no wife. <laughs> um, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Uh, lots of positivity from the last video about autism and stuff. Um, your comments are welcome, appreciated. And glad to say I've a couple of messages where I've, I've helped people. And one person's perhaps realised the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, so good luck to them on their process of diagnosis. Um, for Christmas, Christmas for autistic people, I can only speak for myself. I don't know what other people are like. Uh, it doesn't fill me with excitement, it fills me with dread. Uh, that's wrong, not complete dread. I love it, you know, seeing my son's happiness on his face. That's, that's the most amazing thing that I could wish for. Um, but the dread I feel is the dread of opening presents. I don't like surprises. I need to know what's coming. I don't, you know, my, my face, it won't change. The expression won't change. So, you know, whereas I should probably look excited and I don't. That's no reflection of the present. It's a reflection of me not knowing what emotions to give. Um, I'm pretty sure I could open a unwrap a Ferrari and this face wouldn't change. <laughs> um, but enough of that, we've got some new kit. Uh, we got this little bad boy, Sony A7R3 and I've got the cannon out as well with the big lens. I'll explain a bit more about that and why in a minute. Um, I haven't used the cannon much because I've been using the Sony the last couple of weeks. Uh, awesome piece of kit, I've got to say. Um, it's got some flaws, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit as well, but. Let's get walking. I'm gonna find a pace because I've got quite a big walk planned. Um, like I said, I've got the big lens out for any deer. And I've got the Sony strapped to my shoulder because there's always shots I want. I, I, go out, I go out looking for deer. And I always see other shots. I can't be asked to change lenses to get it or get the other camera out to do it. So this time I brought a shoulder strap which you can just about see on the bag. Uh, feels very solid. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it won't fall off. Um, so I've got, I've got both cameras. They're both ready to go um, for those shots that I always like. I'm going to put some photos up in a minute. Um, there's, there's three trips, three little outings I've done so far um, with the Sony. I'll put them up. All I've done with these shots is point and shoot. I haven't set anything up. I haven't planned anything. There's no focus stacking. There's no long exposures. There's no piss assing around. It's just point and shoot. Start to get used to the camera and what it's all about. Um, is he going to stay still? Back in a sec, hold on. I'm back. Uh, sorry. As a robin sat still. <laughs> Not really seen many of them this year, to be fair. And um, what I do whilst I'm walking is I put some photos up um, of the three outings we were just talking about. Um, all literally handheld, no nothing, no messing about the gimmicks. Handheld, chucked in Lightroom. Quick edit, Bob's your uncle. Um, there's a few from. A local river, the river, some egrets, some herons, um, not much there.
Uh, another trip was from up here last week. Um, and we walked to the top and I shot out over, it was a clear day. So you've got flat home and steep arm out there. Um, you're gonna have to excuse me which one I took a picture of, but there's two pictures. One is where we are on top of the hills and one is with the 400 lens on the Sony zoomed into one of the islands I think I think it's flat home I've taken a picture of um, and then because this Sony's got such a big sensor and I carry it's 48 megapixels cropped it right in oh, awesome But that leads me on to the raw files. They are huge. Um, so I haven't bought any memory cards yet. I've just got a 64 gig in the Sony. Oh, I slapped two 256 gigs in when I do clients. But here, here's an example of how big these files are. Um, Canon 60 Mark II, when I did when I shot the local women's football team. An hour and a half match, easy, six, 700 photos, high speed shooting. 17 gigabytes. I did 255 pictures out of these three outings on the Sony. So that's 700 compared to 255 on the Sony. The 255 on the Sony were nearly 22 gigabytes. That's huge. Um, so for example for Lightroom if you've got the, the normal plan you know which allows you 20 gigabytes that's that's two lots of processing um, it's huge huge but there is an option to compress raw files on the camera um, I'm gonna shoot in uncompressed today because I don't think I'll be getting much but I will put a comparison up of an uncompressed versus compressed I spoke to somebody else <clears throat> um, Martin I follow him on Instagram he's a big big Sony guy loves him um, so his he seems to think if I put a compressed file and an uncompressed file in comparison next to each other you won't you won't see the difference um, what I am interested in doing is <clears throat> seeing how much room it takes up as well you know I mean 255 pictures 21 gigabytes bloody huge um, right I'm just about to head uphill so I'm gonna get out of breath so I'll catch you up in a minute and I've got to try and give the impression that I'm not out of breath because I really want my dad to come for a walk and he don't want to go uphill so I'm breathing normally see you in a minute hey uh, so found this uh, I know a waterfall if you like it's very tiny but lots of fallen trees over it. it makes a really nice picture so let's turn you around so there it is you've got it all the way down here um, I've set I've set up with a little uh, KNF ND filter I've sort of focused where the water comes down and brought it all down here um, we'll so stick that shot up in a minute seen these these are magic um, this is a KNF ND filter it goes from ND2 to ND32 just by simply twisting, screw it in and twist the lens. Um, an awesome bit of kit, rather than getting out all the filter holders and setting up for, you know, a minute's exposure, you can get just as good a shot with a couple of seconds with just one of these. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, and the beauty of it is it's 77mm, so it fits the Canon and the Sony. So that is the first picture uh, I've composed properly on the Sony. Uh, it took three shots ranging from 2 to 3.6 seconds uh, about f11 and f10 on ISO 100. Um, they look good on the back of the camera so we'll chuck those in Lightroom when we get home and I'll pop them up in a minute. Um, and you 
you'll see the video I started with, uh, the, the opening video with the, the deer running out over. Uh, it was pure accident, pure accident I caught that one with a drone. Uh, it wasn't intentional. The, when, I, when I filmed what I was filming, it must have woke them up. And when I came back, I guess it spooked them. Um, just to make it clear, I, I was nowhere near within you know, 50 to 100 feet of them. Um, so it's no different from me walking on them, really, and frightening them. So there's no no intention to frighten them, but it is stunning footage. I was so lucky to have it. But I'm right in that sort of territory where they were. All of these thick ferns. Um, they probably heard me by now, but if a stag could just stick his head up, stick his antlers out, that would be most appreciated. Um, right, I'm going to go because I need to pay attention because I'm going to go right up my ass. See you in a minute. Here's the strap that we were on about. Uh, where are you? So there it is. There it is. Lovely. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, you just got your quick release. Whoops. Quick release there, and you tighten it up when it's all buckled up. That bit. This is tight. It's not move on a little bit. Uh, it's it's absolutely perfect. Perfect little bit of kit for the price. Um, another thing about Sony, uh, it's just things I'm discovering. Um, so today I've got the 6D Mark II, the Canon with the 100 400 Sigma. That's what that lens is mounted for, it's mounted for the Canon. Um, I've had it on the Sony because I bought an adapter. Um, but between the Sony lens, which I bought with a camera, uh, I got the FE for 24 to 105G. Um, you can notice a, f uh, a time to focus to pick out that subject, especially noticed it with a deer. Um, the Sony is so quick to focus but there's a noticeable difference with the Sigma lens attached to it. I don't know if that's because it's through an adapter. It's all up to date, it's all compatible. I've updated the lens, I've updated the ad adapter, because um, they both come with USB ports. Um, but it's probably milliseconds, but it's noticeable. And when you're trying to pick out deer and you want that shot, um, you often miss that shot. So that's, that's why I've got the Canon out today with that on. It's a fantastic lens, don't get me wrong. Um, but perhaps down the line I might have to invest in, in a, a big lens from Sony uh, if I follow down the sort of wildlife route. Um, I don't know. Uh, the thing is, where I go with the deer, they're always behind trees and branches. And I find that it makes a better picture of the deer. Um, I put some pictures up earlier of a deer in a field. Um, I find there's much more... Um, uh, what's the word? It's more of a story uh, when you see them behind, when they're hiding, basically, and you 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 found them. Um, but that Sony is so quick to pick out focus; it often doesn't pick out what you want. Whereas the Canon will, the the, the Sony will focus on the nearest thing to it, and often that's picking out the branches. Um, since watching that YouTube tutorial. I have found different ways of missing those branches and picking out the deer, uh, which is awesome. So the Sony can do it. Um, but I'm just wondering if the Sigma is suited to the Canon because that's what it was designed for. And now I've put this adapter on. It, oh, you get the green light on the adapter. It says it's all compatible, but I'm just not believing it 100%. Um, but if you know something I don't, drop a comment, let me know. 
um, because I'm more up for learning all the time. Right, I'm going to crack on and find a path up to the top and I will see you in a minute. Hey, no, it's up. Just remember, when your feet are struggling, remember there's some poor guy struggling more than you. Hey, dude, you come a long way, ain't you? Got a long way, dude. That's me up top. Spin around. You just see for, see for miles. Oh, well, I say miles. I think there's another bit of weather coming in. Um, I feel the rain on my face. I spun you around. There you are. Um, yeah, I can feel it blowing in. I'm going to carry on up this way. Um, thank God I brought my coat. I didn't want to wear it because I knew how hot it was going to be. I was sweating my <laughs> off. But the second you don't bring it, it's the second the weather comes in. So, kind of glad I got it. It's some sort of plantation. Uh, Christmas trees, they're everywhere. Let's carry them up top, so we can see. Oh, I just had some creepy sheep following me up the hill. Let's move the right out. I took a picture of him. Come stop us. Um, hopefully, this is just a tiny bit of weather and it'll clear. And then we can see the views. Um, not as fit as I once was. Yeah. Off we go. And way up here now. <laughs> Down in a protected valley all morning. You get over the top. It's not raining, it's just mist that's pushing over. It's certainly soaking me through. Um, so, where are we? We've got a big knoll of post just up there. 10 minute walk. Um, what I'll do is I, when I get home, I'll screenshot maps of where I am and stuff, just so you know. Um, but I'm going to head up to Big Nolla Post and I'm going to track back down through uh, Pulver Coombe um, and then come back out where the car is. Fingers crossed. Um, I was watching um, this guy the other day, I won't say his name, um, very prominent on YouTube, very good photographer, lives up in the lakes. Um, and someone's comment was enthusiasm, how much enthusiasm he shows. Um, I guess that's the difference between me and normal. I have massive difficulty showing that. I can't actually tell you how happy I am to be up here. Um, so thanks Danny and Grandad for having Oliver. Um, but my enthusiasm might not shine through. And that's autism. That's me. And I'm so, I was just about to say, I'm sorry, I'm not. That's me. It doesn't mean I'm not having a good time. It doesn't mean I'm happy. You know, the wind's blowing a hooli. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I said earlier, if you're stuck at home, anxiety honestly get hold of a group or get hold of someone like me and go for a walk because you just don't know how good it feels and yeah I know sometimes it's gonna be bitter and horrible but I'm literally fresh air um, I'm trying to get a bit of a droney shot on the top but uh, I mean, I, you, you ain't gonna be able to see it, I don't think, because of the, the misty old wind. But you know, you get the bright equipment, I'm warm, happy, you know, yeah. it's perfect, it's peace perfect up here. Um, all I need is for that deer to stick his head up above all the fern and get that perfect shot. But how long I'll be looking for that perfect shot, I don't know. We'll get it one day. Um, I always remember back to one of my first deer photos. I caught him going through the woods. 
the sun. The sun had lit all his ears up. It was stunning. I love that shot. Um, one of the shots that I haven't put up yet, um, they were up on Cobblestone Hill, which again is part of the Quantox. And uh, it was the other morning, we were, myself and my wife were specifically went up there for a sunrise, which didn't transpire because the weather came in. We knew it was going to be windy, we didn't know it was going to be that windy. Oh my god. But I literally handheld the Sony, and up on top of Cobblestone is the Seven Sisters. Uh, Google it, seven trees basically. There's a lot of history with Cobblestone Hill, with the war and stuff, and medieval. And I just snapped my wife shouting under the tree with three of the sisters. And I processed it in black and white. And I put it up now. Let's see what you think of it. Hopefully, uh, it comes out on YouTube in complete justice. Because it is an absolute corker. Honestly, I just pointed the camera out on my hand, snapped it, didn't frame it, didn't try for it. It's just one of those. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, right up the top now, sorry. Uh, sometimes you think you're pressing the right button on this camera. You find out you're pressing the wrong button. It does your head in. So just uh, literally five minutes away from the post. Now I'm getting stalked by some sheep. Some off. Uh, see you in a minute. Hey, right. so you come up here for peace and quiet. And <laughs> the police are up here. What the fuck? Um, all over it. All over a dirt biker. I don't know if he's causing a nuisance or not. Not sure. You're loud up here? I don't think you are, are you? I don't know. Looks like he's in this shit anyway, because we're having a bit of an argument. But that's enough police. So I'm surprised he got up here. Fair shout to him. Simply stunning up here. Um it's calmed down a bit. The weather's moved. The weather's moved away a bit. I'm gonna do a shot down this valley. Um, there's no colour, it's, it's so bland up here at the moment. You know, you've got your browns and your greens, but it's just bleak. Bleak, bleak. Um, not too far away from Holford Coombe, which is where we head back to the car. Um, but other than that, see you in a minute. As far as walks go, this is a long one. <laughs> Sorry, Nanny and Grandad. Um, just sort of at the top of the coom, and they head back down. Uh, as soon as I find a track into the coom, um, got to be honest, photography opportunities up here are bleak. It is extremely bleak up here today. Um, I'll pick off a couple, put them up as we go along. Uh, I'll see you in the coom. Yeah, <clears throat> heading back down to the coom now. Uh, it was quite an extensively long walk actually. Didn't realise how long that was. Um, I'm still not back now. I'm going to get down in the coom and follow the stream back down to the car. Um, it's getting my ass in gear really. Another hour and it'll, it'll be dark. Um, definitely get some eerie tree shots down through here um, and see where we go for that. I'll just do a couple of things down through the coombe and then uh, head home. Um, loved today, loved it, loved being out, it's been absolutely awesome. Um, I can see the stream now, perfect, oh whoops, perfect. Um, starting to rain again but yeah, it's, oh, it's been a perfect day, bloody perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Um, already asked you if you had a Merry Christmas. 
this will go up Sunday so that will be uh, the 2nd January so in which case I wish you all a very very happy new year That's it, that's the coom done. Five minutes away from the car now, if that. Um, done some, it's dark enough in the woods to, to, get, to get the aperture down and get some motion shots with the water. Um, Cause if, after all the rain we've had lately, there, it's, it is just wet up there, it's so wet. Um, so I'll stick those up in a minute. Uh, thoroughly, thoroughly hope you've enjoyed the walk with me today. I have. Oh God, I've loved it. Um, I am absolutely filthy. I've got shed loads of stuff to edit. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, I've got to show you what I'm stepping in here, man. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that is a boot there. Oh my God. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I have. It's been awesome. Um, new kit's proved wonderful. This clip, clip that I've got with a shoulder strap works perfectly. Not had a single issue with it. Um, and the best thing about it is the, the clip that goes into the bottom of the camera also fits top of the tripod. So, uh, you're thinking now um, and just was on the fact of thinking and good thinking one thing that I've noticed with the Sony and it's just little bits like this it is the most minuscule little bit but it counts so the viewfinder the little eye cover Canon there's slide off Sony you have to unclip it with two fingers that's forward thinking you know, all the spares I've lost for the Osmo Pocket. And, you know, you come across something like so. It's just... That's thinking about it, man. That's, yeah, it's good. Um, I hope you enjoy the drone footage. Admittedly, that was from the other day. Far too windy up there for a drone today. I'd love to have got a couple of shots of me at Vic Nola, but... Nah, I'm not risking it. Too expensive. Um, I'm going home to stick myself in the washing machine and have a shower and coffee and parched. Uh, thoroughly hope you've enjoyed this. Get your ass up here for a walk. It's beautiful. My walking shoes are now broken in. Um, yeah, loved it. Give us a like. Just subscribe, chuck a comment on there, man. If you want to talk about autism or anxiety or do you know what I mean? You want to get out and you haven't got the confidence to do it, give us a shout. All right, but that is me signing off. Uh, see you all very soon. Happy New Year. <laughs>